tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer Started with animation. Hello, have a good day. I hope you like this. We're in the FX section here in Maya. This is the special effects module as opposed to the modeling, rigging, animation, and rendering menu set here. FX. We concentrate on end particles and two uh, options here. One is the soft body and one is the creative animator. We start with creating an emitter. The emitter sits in the center of the scene and emits tiny little dots to the ground because it r has gravity and the gravity comes from the nucleus. If you select the nucleus in the attribute editor you see here the gravity which is currently set to 9.8 that simulates the real earth gravity. We fine-tune the emitter now. The emitter emits the objects at a certain speed, etc., and that can be controlled using the settings here. For example, transform anima, uh, attributes is the position where it is. We don't need to change that. And basic emitter attributes is here. Emitter attribute, the emitter type is omnidirectional. That's fine. We could make it directional or emit from a surface, but we don't have a surface uh, involved yet. But this is the first crucial value here. It's the rate of particles per second. 100 particles per second. Let's reduce this to 10 because we will have big particles and we don't want to overcrowd the scene with them. Um, scale the rate by speed. We could do that, but uh, we don't need to. The second thing you need to keep in mind is how long they live. And that's not under emitter, but that's actually in the particle section. The lifespan. It's a second entry here in the end particle shape tab. Live forever is the standard setting here. We don't need them to live forever. We can set them to a constant or random range and the random range accepts a lifespan in seconds so let's make it five seconds the randomness can be set to any value um, larger than zero and the generous seed can be set to any value i guess we'll come back to the particle size in just a second but now we need to go to shading because that's the appearance of our little dots here we don't want to um, them to appear as little dots but as little spheres which are here now we want them bigger so let's close the shading again and go back to the particle size and the radius currently is 0 0.2 let's make the radius one we have really big particles now the next thing we're going to do is we create a sphere and i'll show you how this thing does not really work and why it doesn't work uh, is will be pretty obvious soon let's go to this icon here it makes us look through the object which is quite good for this purpose so still we have the spheres which are which we call particles down here and we have the big sphere and this big sphere doesn't react to the particles and the particles don't react to the big sphere well we can change the big sphere which is the default NURBS sphere uh, which would be the same with the default polygon sphere but um, we make need to make it dynamic and we stick to the end particle section here and create a soft body. We use the default settings. Just have a look at the default settings. The default settings are creation options, make that object soft, apply and close. So when this object is soft, it will react to our particles. Let's extend the frame range to 1000 and move the camera a little bit to the back
So what we see now is, and that's part of the problem really, many particles penetrate the surface of our object. Let's go back to the ordinary view here. So this is what you get. And they penetrate the surface because the surface is so crude, it's so rough, it's so simple. We need much more resolution for it. And another problem is that the soft body, that one, the gray one, does not go back to its original position. It doesn't remember it was a sphere. It just gets deformed and deformed even further. Now let's delete that uh, sphere, including the soft bodiness. Now we have only the particles falling down and we create a new sphere sitting here. Make it a little bit larger and go to this view here. Press F so we get a little bit closer now. Here in the attribute editor we have make NURBS sphere. That's basically the fa factory which creates the, that sphere. And here we can set the radius which we don't need to set differently because it's just fine like this. But we have the resolution here, the sections and spans. That's basically the resolution in this axis and in this axis. So let's raise this drastically to, for example, 100 by 100. Don't do that with polygons. If You can do the same procedure with a polygon sphere, but uh, don't go so high with the sections because Maya will certainly crash then. So let's have a look what's happening now. Nothing, because we need to make the particles feel the object, so we need to make it soft again. And now we want more control about the sphere. Actually, let's go to the option box now and we need to change settings here. We want to duplicate the sphere and make the copy soft. So we'll duplicate this sphere with this command and the copy will be soft. The original, which is called NURB Sphere 1, will be not soft. It will be a goal and that's what we need to tick here. Make the non-soft one, that one, a hard one, a goal. And here is the goal weight. If we set this to 0 0.1, the soft body won't respect the original shape very much, but a little bit. If we set this to 0 0.9, the soft body won't be deformed much because it always wants to desperately go back to the shape of the original sphere. That's what this make non-soft a goal is about. And we can, uh, we will change this value later. Uh, we hide the non-soft body after this command. We apply this and we reset the settings and close the tab. So this is what's happening now. The particles stay inside and except for <laughs> certain occurrences when the speed is too drastic and the sphere gets deformed very nicely because it has such a high res resolution now. Now you can go to the particles and tell the particles to be a little bit more damped and that's under dynamic properties. Here is the damping. It's currently set to zero. A value of 0 0.05 is already quite drastic. This node here is the copy of NURBS particle system because the soft body is a particle in fact. And he uh, here you find further down the goal weights and objects. We're under the soft body now. It doesn't have to do with the emitter and the brown particles here. It is the particle behavior of our soft body, the sphere. 
and uh, here we f find the goal weights and objects and uh, the two crucial values for how strongly this sphere respects the original sphere shape is here that's the value of 0 0.5 which we've just seen if we set this to 9 for example the deformation will be much smaller it's barely visible here because the soft body wants to desperately go back to the original shape of a round sphere if we reduce this to say 0 0.2 it will be totally different the gold smoothness has a similar effect So you play with these two values, you play with the emission speed, which is here, you play with the size of the particles. And I hope this makes you happy. Bye-bye.